Hello, hello, beer fans. My name is Steve Jaguer. This is a beer native beer review, and I'm very excited to be here. I'll tell you more in a moment. Okay, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, untapped. I'm on all of them, untapped. Just there. Uh, and that's it. Let's get rid of that. So uh, I, I found this beer on a website I hadn't ordered from before, even though they're actually, I think they 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 won Bottle Shop of the Year 2021. I don't know who give these out, gives out these awards. Awards uh, these days are like participant ribbons for doing nothing. But it might mean something. Uh, so I gave them a go. You can check them out just here. It was Hoppy Place. They have an advent calendar. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and it was the last one, so I'm afraid I might be reviewing something you can never get. Nevertheless, though, it, it was funny as, well, it's funny. I mean, look at that. Our lawyers made us change the name of this beer so we don't get sued. I'd love to know what the original name was. I didn't have time to ping them and find out what they called it. I can only assume they called it Wayne Gretzky or Michael Jordan or Disney. Ooh, Disney IPA. Something like that. I don't know. The fact that it's a black IPA makes me wonder if they did something accidentally racist. Who knows, right? But the new name is so much better than any other name they could have come up with. So I think it, it rocks. And S43 Brewery, who made it, they're based in County Durham, up north for, even from me. Um, so a lot of good sea glass beaches up there if you're into beach coming. My wife does that. But Durham's a really cool place, but it's up north. There's a lot of great breweries come from like about, I don't know, I say a one hour train ride just north of me. And this is just yet another one. Let's grab it. Now it's just behind me. It's been out of the fridge. Black IPAs, very contentious, uh, even genre of beer. And it's 7.2%, as you can see, because very few, very few, I think people would argue, get it right. And yet it's very difficult to define what even getting it right means. What is, a black, what is a good black IPA? Well, they're using malts that would be more traditionally associated with roasted or real ales. Whoa, just, just glitched there for a second. The matrix gave out on me. More traditionally associated with real ales. So darker, maltier, not so brown, but trying to get it to the point where you've got that roastiness. And then there are definitely certain hops. I think specifically West Coast variety from America that really are really suited to prolonging those those really malty, delicious, roasty flavors. So getting a good black IPA means piloting some of the longer pininess of the West Coast at the same time bringing in some malty up front, right? As opposed to maybe having a, a refreshing and then a late hit of pine and maybe hopefully using a double dry hop of something that is more Idaho 7 in your face, floral and fruity. Forget the floral and fruity. We're just looking to get some good hard flavors and keep them running as long as possible kind of like a really good really good red wine so let's pop that open now and see what we get i've got a good nosy glass here and it's not that just looking at it i think it's not that clean actually i don't think that'll affect the flavor but i don't think it matters that much pouring it in i'm going to get a, a, a dumping it in there so we can see it's there we go I've had some black IPAs that I feel I should screen capture that because that's a beautiful thing. Nice tight bubbles in the head. I, I poured it a little bit aggressively. I still don't believe in saying how many fingers of head there are. I think that's kind of a little bit of BS, isn't it? Who cares? It's just down to like no head at all. All right. I've called that out and said this is just like pouring a can of Coke, right? That's just what. Uh, but this is lovely. And... I have a cold, which is going to impact my assessment of things. I know that. When is you're probably thinking, Steve, how dare you review a beer with a bit of a head cold? Well, actually, I chose a beer that is not known to explode out of the glass. Don't necessarily need it to be floral. I think I chose the perfect beer. Plus, stouts and roastier malts, historically, I've been associated with, let's call it medicine. Shall we? Questionable. So it's got a very neutral, malty smell, which I really quite like. Kind of bready. Let's uh, give, it a, give it a little taste.
I would say right away, I know it's 7.2%. Actually, it tastes like something higher than that. Try again. So I'm doing this because I'm it's like it's 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 powering me. I'm I'm the puppet and this is the puppeteer. It's making me like do this to shake the liquid around my mouth. And it's good. It does have like an initial maltiness, kind of a unlike the Marmite beer I did a while ago. I should stick something here, a link to that if I remember at five minutes and fifty seconds in. Try again. And then call it. Yeah, it's got like a slightly burnt toast kind of thing going on. Real nice malt. But it's prolonged. It's lasting. It's still there. I don't feel I want to jump back. I'm just kind of savoring that that flavor. I'm got no floral, no citrus. But a lingering when I say pine, I would I still feel it's very bready, very malty. Sorry, I'm squinting a little bit because I do have a cold and I was just about sneezed right on the camera. That would have been, I would have given everybody watching this video uh, a cold by doing that. It's not COVID. I had both a antigen and a PCR test uh, to be absolutely certain for going online, as you know, safety first. Mm. All right, let's put it down. You know, it's a good beer when I keep going back to it. I'm making an excuse as like part of the review. Oh, I need to check it one more time. No, it's because I like it. That's what I'm doing. It does have a late, really late, almost like an apple, uh, apple skin, which is, which is kind of nice. When you bite an apple skin, you get a little bit of that bitter. It's nice. And then you get the sweetness that comes across from the apple. I'm not getting the sweetness from the apple, but I do like apple skin. I think it's, it's something that really adds to certain recipes. So that's, that's pretty good. It's up there. And I think it hit the alcohol level right. If it tastes like something a little bit more than it is, sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. In this case, I think I kind of do. I want that level of aggression. It's not medicinal. It's not burnt, other than obviously the malt. Yeah, it's very good. Very good. I'm really Now I'm really disappointed that, that I don't have it again. And I don't even know where to buy it right now. Okay, thank you, Hoppy Place, for putting it on there. And thank you, S43, for making it. So uh, in terms of flavor, it, I'd say 8.5 out of 10, bordering on a 9. Let's say 8.8, .8, meet in the middle. Yeah, I really like it. Really like it. That's going to get a pretty solid untapped score. And plus, in terms of style and design, I'm really going to smash it. Let's share the screen a little bit and give you a little bit of history. If you don't know S43, you know I like that now. You can you can all leave now. Do you want to learn a little bit more about the them? Uh, there's a hoppy place. It's like as if it knows. Free delivery. No, nah, forget it. S43 has... This is a... These quick pails. It's about yeast, right? Certain yeast. Very, very trendy right now. As we're in New Zealand. So I'm going to have to revisit that. S43 have been around since 2012, but they didn't really kind of get on the map until 2015, like most craft breweries. These are some of the founding members who I'm sure hopefully are doing very well right now. They have some great beers. That's not good to get too into them. Uh, they've got a pretty good shop, but they do have a pretty high turnover. So you, if you want to get something good, you got to grab it and then run with it. Uh, otherwise new things might come in. You know, they've got that pina colada milkshake IPA. It sounds pretty darn nice. They have an IPA called waste of space. If they do a black IPA again, I might actually ping them and say like, whether you call it the same thing or not, Please do it again because they did. It's such a good job, actually, that I'm a little disappointed. I might just go, you know, surfing the the beer net and see if I can find any more of them around because I think I quite like having some of those around for the holidays. I don't think because the hops and the malt together, they'll, they'll, they'll last well beyond their, well, I'm sure I'll get a date, expiry date that is in the future, but... It's kind of nice, like they won't lose quality over time. So it'd be nice to have some for the holidays in a month. So there you go, Aquatic Sewing Machine. I just want to get that for the name, but nevertheless, it's it's good. It's good. So let, let, let's let's finish assessing the entire package, shall we? I think the, the packaging rocks. If you check out the 
the shiny embossedness of it. It is a label. It's not a dedicated can, but it does have a bit of eye-catching color arrangement as if I'm, I'm peeking through the keyhole to see what went wrong there. And was it a collaboration? Oh, it's a collab with Phantom Brewing, mainly S43 branding. Ah, look at that. Secrets revealed. Love collaborations. I'm going to have to like dive in to Phantom Brewing now. So that's good. That's going to be, that's going to, do you know Phantom? All right. All right. All right. So now that we're recording, I have done Phantom Brewing before and I don't encounter them all that often. Uh, so let's give them credit where credit is due because otherwise I'd feel, I'd feel bad. Let me just get some details up on the screen. Yes, we are all over 18, everybody watching this. So Phantom Brewing, there we go, there we go. So they're very different, very in, Re in Reading, down south near London. Uh, how long, I don't know how long they've been around, actually. That's a very good question. From me to me, surely, I don't know, they don't say. But they've got a lot of really good, quite things. But I've never been to their tap room. I'm hoping to get there. But you can see why they would get together with. You see where they get together with uh, S43. <laughs> Look, by S43 because similar taste in both designs and beer styles. So pretty awesome. Check them out, Phantom Brewing. I I think it's, you, people should just go around and order different beers from different people because that's how you find out. Don't wait till your pub to get it. Don't wait for your beer store to get it. Don't wait for your bottle shop to get it. Seek them out, order a variety, enjoy it, right? And quite often if you sign up to their, their newsletter, like, I don't know if you want it, but I have, an, I have a dedicated email address that I use just for beer newsletters so that I get them all in one place. You know, Gmails are free. Uh, and it's, it's great. And then you almost always get 10% off, so do that and try it. There we go. So there you go. Great collaboration. Uh, controversial style, the Black IPA. And controversial name like what was the original name between phantom and s43 who knows we may never know maybe someday i'll get them on the show when i can travel i'll go up there and interview them and we'll get them on that's how i want to expand the channel is to get more inter interactivity on these reviews but until then i'm going to give them a great review i give them their artwork sorry artwork and uniqueness artwork and, and sorry artwork and packaging uh, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10 and uniqueness. Um, and I think anybody who does a black IPA is going to, is unique. So I'm going to keep them up around the eights, eight and a half. So it's going to be pretty good on untapped. Check me out there. Steve Jaguar on untapped. And if you've been watching this video and you're new, please subscribe. Tell your friends about this channel. I try to be enthusiastic. If you ever want to be on the channel so you can get a, a beer with me and you want to try it with me. Hell yeah. Come on, I welcome guests. I'd love for anybody to come on and talk to me about beer. Prove me wrong, I don't care. That's the end of this review. Thank you for watching. I've been Steve Jaguar, this is Beer Native, and I am out and gonna go drink the rest of this awesome beer.